Welcome to the first in a series of videos demonstrating the capabilities of Nintex workflows. Hi, I'm Dean Virag, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a Nintex workflow to a list in SharePoint Online, and I'm going to go over the basic functionality and navigation of the Nintex workflow interface. Please note that all the videos in this series assume that you already have Nintex workflows for Office 365 installed in your tenant. Let's begin. As you see here, I'm in a document library that I recently created. Click the Library tab to access the Nintex Workflows icon. Click the Nintex Workflow icon to open the Nintex Workflow Designer. As you can see, the Nintex Workflow Designer is a web-based tool, so there is no need to install anything on your computer in order to be able to create workflows. The Nintex Workflow Designer interface is split up into three different areas. These are the Actions Toolbox, the Workflow Ribbon, and the Designer Canvas. Let's take a look at all three. At the top of the screen is the Workflow Ribbon. From the ribbon, you can save your current workflow, publish your current workflow, Create a new workflow, open an existing workflow, close Nintex Workflow Designer and return to the previous location, import a workflow file which has the extension of .nwp, export the current workflow to your local computer as a .nwp file, display the settings of the current workflow. These include the name and description of the workflow, the task and history lists associated with the workflow, and finally, the start options of the workflow. These should look familiar, as they're the same options that are available in SharePoint Designer. The next item on the ribbon is the variables, where you can manage the variables used in the workflow. The next item on the ribbon is the Nintex store, where you can discover other actions that can be added to your workflows. As you can see here, there's lots of ways to integrate Nintex workflows with third-party applications. The next item on the ribbon is Help, where you can access how-to instructions, other support materials, subscription overview, the status of the service, details of new features, and about Nintex Workflow Designer. This is where your tenant ID is located, should you ever need it. And finally, Feedback where you can provide your ideas on how to improve the product. You can also browse ideas that have already been posted and see the status of those ideas. This gives you a sneak peek as to the upcoming features that will be implemented. That's it for the workflow ribbon. In the next video, I will demonstrate the Actions Toolbox located on the left side of the screen. Thanks for watching.